Trexperts would like to begin today by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we record. We pay our respects to their elders past and present and extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders listening to us today. You're listening to BQN. Assimilate the audio. Welcome back, dear listeners, to yet another round of the Trexperts Quiz, a BQN podcast. This is the Star Trek-inspired trivia podcast where each week we put two self-proclaimed Star Trek experts or Trexperts head-to-head in a battle for nerd supremacy to bring glory to themselves and their houses. I am your host, Davey Willett. I go by the pronouns he and him, and it is my pleasure to have you joining me on this journey through the generations of Star Trek knowledge today. I'd like to give a big shout out before we begin to our BQN Network patrons, especially a very big thank you to Matt Harker, Jason Anderson, and Lars Desenzer of the Red Shirt Geeks, who are the associate producers of this program. Thank you so much to all of you for your support, and don't forget you can help keep the show and all the other fabulous BQN programs coming to you week by week by signing up to be a patron at patreon.com slash BQN. Before we meet our two Trexperts for today, it is my great pleasure to welcome back another former contestant. She rolls with she, her pronouns. She isn't really a Trekkie, but her husband is determined to make her one from love at first contact. It is the fabulous Safai. Welcome back to the show, Safai. Hi, welcome. Thanks for having me. It is so fabulous to have you back. And I'm wondering, after all this time, I think you've just passed your your 50th episode, which means you've been forced to watch at least 50 episodes (laughs) of Star Trek by now. Uh, Have you fallen in love with Star Trek yet? Where where are you sitting on on the scale? Um, I would say maybe like four, four and a half. Get in there. So... (laughs) Out of like 50 or like... Oh, I was like out of 10. Yeah. (laughs) Well, you, 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 I mean, you, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. You're doing better than my partner, Anthony, is doing. He watched like two episodes of Discovery and said, no, I'm going back to rewatch Sex in the City. So that's... <laughs> we'll get him there one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could probably only just get him to watch Star Trek Six because Samantha's in it. But anyway... <laughs> Well, Sophia, it is so fabulous to have you back as scorekeeper for a show I'm really excited about. Now, this is our our penultimate for season one of the Trexperts Quiz. This is our second last episode of our first season before I bugger off to Europe for five weeks. And we have bought you an absolute powerhouse of Star Trek podcasting contestants today. So I'm going to energize the transporter and get ready to meet our first Trexport. Our first guest is warping in with she, her pronouns. She has been watching Star Trek since 1966 and loves the NCC 1701 with no bloody A, B, C or D. A host from the Sensational Sci-Fi Sisters podcast, it is Sabrina. Sabrina, welcome to the quiz. Hey, whoop, whoop. <laughs> whoop, oh, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> My people know what I mean. <laughs> well, it's so good to have you here, and uh, we've been—I we, think we've been emailing back and forth for a while, and I've got some great information about your trick expertise here. But Sabrina, you told me before the show that you love episode titles and figuring out the meaning behind them. Can you tell us what is one of your favorites in terms of the actual meaning? Well. One of my favorites actually is from the show that everybody is jonesing about right now, Picard. Oh, yeah. And uh, you go back to season one. One of the titles was called uh, The End is the Beginning. And it's episode three, season one. And it was actually based on a quote by Winston Churchill. And it was at the it was at the uh, beginning of World War Two when the British were really taking it. They were getting defeat, defeat after defeat, Dunkirk had happened. They were just not winning anything. 
and they finally win a battle and Winston Churchill makes his speech that the end is over and the beginning is now going to start. And in Picard, the first couple of episodes, you know, he had been, you know, the, the hubris statement with the captain. He had lost all of it. You know, he Dodge is dead. Everything is going wrong. And he finally gets on the Cerritos, uh, the Cerritos. They finally get on La Serena. <laughs> and they are now about to start the quest. And the name of that episode is the end is the beginning. They are going to go on the hero's journey. And I just thought all the titles of Picard were just so deep. They were dual. Like we were talking about twins. All of the titles had dualities. And I'm telling you, mm. I could sit here for another half an hour and tell you about the titles <laughs> of Picard. Uh, if only I'd written you an episode title quiz. Where that might have to be for your next appearance. But I would, that's... I would be there for it. Okay. <laughs> I bet that's really cool, though. And I, anyone who's been a, a listener or a viewer of this show for a while will know that one of my absolute like bugbears with with New Trek is the fact that up until Picard season three. They don't flash the episode title up on the screen after the opening credits, which is how I think I used to remember all of them. <laughs> Drive me crazy. And then they got a lot of one word titles now. It's just they just got a word. It's like come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. Dominion. Although, you know, and all that. Yeah, well. Remembrance is uh you know, Remembrance was the first one and that's a but that's a it's a book. I forget it. I'm not even gonna keep going. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We, we, maybe we'll have to get into a bit more of a conversation about this after the show. <laughs> but I've got a really cool contestant coming for you today. I'm very, very excited to meet her. I'm going to energize Transporter, bring her in now. Our second Trexpert is also warping at us with she, her pronouns. She loves Deep Space Nine and is a big fan of characters like Kira, Seven and Dr. Ta'ana. Very good choice. Part of the Incredible Women at Warp podcast, it's Jarrah. Jarrah, welcome to the quiz. Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's so exciting to have have one of the Women at Warp on here. We've been, again, we've been emailing back and forth since I started the show, and I'm so glad to finally have you in the, our centre seat. And we, we've, been, we've been chatting a little bit about your area of expertise as well. Now, you told me that um, before the show that apart from spending a lot of time podcasting and commenting on all things Trek, that your specific area of Trek expertise is representation of women in Trek, which is really, really cool. So from, from your perspective, how have you seen this evolve, especially in some of the more recent times and some of the, the, the newer iterations of Trek? Mm -hmm. Well, um, you know, I could do a, a whole talk on this, but the uh, condensed <laughs> version is that I think, you know, every series has had some notable groundbreaking women characters, um, but the the range and breadth of representations and the roles available to women and just the numbers of women um, have grown fairly steadily from the beginning with a dip for Enterprise. Um, but since Discovery um, really... The, we've seen a sea change um, mm. and uh, with um, incredible range um, for women characters as well as, as other types of diverse characters um, and um, less typecasting, more rounded characters in general. Um, and I think that um, we're in a, a pretty golden age and there are actually like metrics to kind of back that up both in terms of um representation of women behind the scenes has increased we're still you know only at about 34 percent women directors but mm. it, that's a lot better than the pre-streaming high of enterprise which had 10 percent of episodes directed by women and they were all roxanne dawson um <laughs> and uh you know and we also um have significantly better results on the bechdel wallace test um for women talking to other women about something other than a man <laughs> yeah um, that's right in, in the streaming era of star trek so um i feel pretty lucky to be here that's awesome. Well, I, I, that kind of leads me into your quiz topic today. I thought, well, I've got, I've got the sci-fi sisters, I've got women at warp, and one of my favorite quiz topics to do, I call the Queens of Trek, which is where I pick three iconic female characters from the franchise uh, and focus the trivia both on the character and the actor who played them. 
And this time around, I have chosen three characters from across the generations of Trek. So we are going to be starting with Uhura, moving through to Deanna Troy, and finishing on Michael Burnham. <laughs> any Sabrina, any 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 strong points or weak points there for you in terms of your knowledge? Yeah, Deanna Troy. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Jara? I sense deep confusion. Oh, that is me trying to think of answers to the questions about to come up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally all of them. <laughs> yeah, well, we a lot of places here. Let's 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 rip the band-aid off. We're gonna go straight into round one, which is all about Uhura. So embarrassed here. I get so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see how you go. Let's get let's get started. We've got question one for a single point, hands on buzzers. Question one. In which country was Uhura born? Uh, Sabrina Bresden first. I'm going to say Nigeria. Negative. I know it's wrong. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Jara? Kenya? <laughs> that is correct. That's oh. correct. <sighs> Kenya, well done. That is a point for You know for I'm being drummed out of the Sci-Fi Sisters. You know that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> edit that around and yeah, it, uh, it could be, yeah. it could be no, some pride on the line here <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's try the second question then so what was her first or primary human language uh sabrina again first swahili that is correct well done, well done. It was indeed Swahili. All right, question three for a single point. In which episode of the original series do we see the famous first interracial kiss between Uhura and Kirk? <laughs> we don't know our TOS episodes. You're yeah. buzzing to take a guess. <laughs> It's, uh, it's that Roman. It's that Roman one. What was the one where they were like the telepathic aliens on the Roman planet? Oh God, what's the name of the episode? You're definitely in the right area. Yeah, that's, yeah, you, you, yeah. You, you. Mm -hmm. I, right. I can't remember. It's, it's when I blank comply. out. Believe me. <laughs> we'll have to give you unable to comply on that one, Jerry. You get a shot. Um, is it? The Gamesters of Triskelion? Negative. Nope. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I named an episode. <laughs> well done. Well done, though. <laughs> I mean, you've only got like a 1 in 86 chance when it comes to the original <laughs> series. So. And I'm like, the... I only know this because we just watched this previously. You just watched so. it? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Yeah, no, I know what it is now. Plato's anyway. children. Yeah, Plato's stepchildren, yeah. It, it, it is Plato's stepchildren. Unfortunately, you don't get oh, the point. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, an interesting one. And uh, when researching the question, uh, I found some uh, quotes from uh, Nichelle Nichols' 1994 autobiography called Behond Beyond Uhura. Uh, the scene was at the behest of NBC executives worried that Southern affiliates might refu refuse to air the episode. Filmed with and without the kiss. But Nichols, uh, Nichols and Shatner consciously sabotaged the non-kiss takes of the scene so that they would have no choice but to leave the kiss in. I also read that there was a part of the script which also suggested that the kiss would be between Uhura and Spock, but apparently William Shatner demanded that it should be Kirk and Uhura who kiss. <laughs> who knows what that conversation was like? <laughs> I can just imagine what that yeah. conversation was <laughs> like. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next question. So, Uhura's first name is Nyota. What does it mean or translate to in English? Oh. Jahar? Uh, freedom. That is correct. Correct. It does mean freedom. So that is a point for Jara. Well done. 
All right, next question for a single point. What poet does Spock once quote to describe Uhura's beauty? Or which poet? What poet? Grammar. <laughs> Jera? I totally know the poem, but I don't know who wrote it. But we I'm know the poem. Say... We know the poem, but we don't I'm know. I'm gonna who say John. No wait, I'm gonna say Lord Tennyson. No, that's probably wrong. Okay, anyway, I'm saying it. No, it's uh, yeah. it's not Lord Tennyson. Sabrina, do you, you want to have a guess? I don't know who wrote Is it. Is it a lord? It is. <laughs> it is a lord. <laughs> I'll say Byron. <laughs> That is correct. It is Lord Byron. Well <laughs> done. It pays to have a guess. I mean, yeah. I may have given it away then. <laughs> and, and what do you know what poem it was? She walks in beauty like the night. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, uh, from the episode. Is there is there in truth no beauty? There's a tongue twister of an episode title there. <laughs> well done. Okay, next question. In Star Trek Picard, we learned that Uhura was given command of a starship after she left the Enterprise A. What was the name of that starship? Oh, you got me. You're getting some spoilers coming up here. Oh, sorry, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten that far. Oh, that, okay, thank you. Maybe that's my problem. I don't get yeah, that it, it, it's a blink and you'll miss it kind of thing, Sophia. <laughs> All right, five. Whoop. Whoop. USS Endeavor. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Sabrina, would you like to take a guess? No guess at all. <laughs> I don't even know. Unable to comply. That's all right. So I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. The USS Leon de Grance. Leon. It's, yeah, That's what it's it a lot. like to me. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so she carried out a, a five-year mission um, to the Lesser Magellanic Cloud, whatever that is, and participated in over 100 first contact missions of civilizations encountered there. Following the five-year mission, uh, the ship became an academy training ship in 2317, with Uhura retaining command until her retirement in 2333. During that time, many academy cadets experienced their first faster-than-light travel for the first time under her command. One of them was a young Jean-Luc Picard. So This was all in Picard? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a the the, the command is somehow referenced in in the background, but watch. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All my right. Goodness. Your next question is our question seven of nine. Question seven of nine always has a couple of bonus points up for grabs. There's ah. three points available here. Name the three actors to have portrayed Uhura on screen. Jara? Um, Celia Rose Gooding, um, Zoe Saldana, and Michelle Nichols. That is correct. Well done. That is three points taken straight away. Good work. Good right. work. Second last Uhura question. In what episode do we see Uhura assume full command of the Enterprise? The Lorelei signal. That is correct. Correct. From the animated series, Uhura assumed commands of the Enterprise when the male officers fall victim to a species of sirens and leads to an all-female rescue party. And final question for the Uhura round. What was the name of the organization Nichelle Nichols created to encourage women in the space program? Sabrina. Women in... Women in motion. That women is correct. I was about to say, you are about to say women at war. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> That's correct. That's a, a point for Sabrina. That was a good first round. Uh, you, no, you, it wasn't. You, you did pretty well. You did pretty well. You totally told me to take, don't right. take it seriously. What? I it's like, I need the points. I need the points. <laughs> I got to work so, on my, my button pressing finger. <laughs> <laughs> Jensen said. 
Safai, you can tell us definitively how good a round that was. How are we sitting score wise? So Verena has four. And ja- am I saying this right, Jara? It's Jara. Jara, I'm Jara. like Sarah with a J. <laughs> okay, Jara <laughs> has five. Oh, so it's close. Well oh, no. done. Give me one of those. This is, this is neck and neck practically. I can confidently say I can maybe get like two of those questions. So you guys are doing better than I could. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go home. I got to go back to the sci-fi sister. So that was not good. <laughs> Well, he's he's your coming up on. Oh, yeah, on... Oh, okay, Troy, this is really good. <laughs> so I think this sounded like it was going to be a bit of a, a weak spot for both of you. So let <laughs> let's see how you go with, with Deanna Troy's. So, oh first God, question okay. for the Deanna Troy round: Deanna was born near which lake on Beta Z? <laughs> lake feelings lake feelings <laughs> i'm afraid not sabrina i like that answer though <laughs> yeah. i do too <laughs> A- any guesses sabrina no <laughs> no okay. it was called lake elna uh, which we learn about during the events of the episode, The Dark Page. Yeah. Second question for Troy. What rank did Deanna Troy have for the majority of her time on the Enterprise D? Lieutenant Commander. That is correct. That is correct. Well done, Sabrina. Third question, what drink can Troy commonly be heard ordering from a replicator? Jara? Hot chocolate? That is correct. Yeah? Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're, we're two, <laughs> two out of three. going to be in there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Which species do we learn that Troy cannot detect the emotions of? Jara? Uh, Ferengi. That is correct. Yes, apparently uh, they can't detect the brain either. Alrighty, next one. In what episode do we first see Troy take command of the Enterprise? Yeah. So I'm just laughing because I'm like, Sabrina, come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is it is locked? I was like, oh. is it disaster? That is correct. It is disaster. Well done. Well done. Racking up the points there. All right. So, question six What name did Troy assume when she was used in an undercover operation on board a Romulan bird of prey? Wow. Be editing know. in that that thinking music here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the name in that episode. I do not remember what her name was. Unable to comply. Major Rakal of the Tal Shiar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> rings a bell. It rings a bell. That's a good episode. Yeah. It is a good episode, yet. actually. I, I never quite understood why 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 the ship's counselor was chosen for an undercover operation. Although I don't think she was really. She didn't have much choice in the matter, right? She was sort of. She a, literally a, wakes a, up as a Romulan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think yeah, yeah. the the answer was that we got to a point in the series where Jerry Taylor was the executive producer, and she said, "We have to give these people more to do." <laughs> yeah, um, and we got a whole bunch of of good Troy and Crusher episodes, at least like with them doing things other than just feeling and healing people uh, yeah. for the last two seasons. I know, but yes. we did also get Sub Rosa out of that as well. Oh, but it's great. <laughs> it's, it's become a guilty pleasure, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of people like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we, I mean, imagine life without it, really. <laughs> <laughs> what even would be the point? <laughs> exactly. Okay, your question seven of nine for Deanna Uh-oh. is also worth three points. Can you name her three children? 
Sabrina? Uh, <laughs> Kendra. <laughs> we got Kendra. Uh, Alex. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Ian. Yep. And the one that died. Oh, my God. Uh, I just, she was just talking about him. <laughs> the one that died is Peter. <laughs> no idea. Insufficient data. So you're actually only going to get one point for Ian because you said Kendra. It's not Kendra. Oh, um, it's, yeah. So, <laughs> Jara, you've got, you've got that you shot of the other two. There's two more. There's two else others that you can pick here. Okay. Um, do I need to buzz? No, you don't. That's okay. fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, Castra and Fad for Thaddeus. I got the hard kid. Little Fad. A little Fad. I got the hard kid. You did. did. It I did. was like three. Who's the third? So yeah, I didn't even I know there was first, three. So. Yeah, 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 and I'm from one. <laughs> You could tell I'm not watching Picard, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, if I did, 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 did Sam get you to watch the episode "The Child" where the little little ball of light in, yes. impregnates her? Yeah, that, that was, was Ian. an interesting episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's always going to be Troy. It's something crazy going to happen. Like that. Mm -hmm. I, I had you. lots of questions after watching that. People just. <laughs> Jump in her all over the place from anywhere. I would not have picked it as a must watch, honestly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, I guess it was season two, so it was a bit hard to find must watches, but yeah. Oh, yeah. man. All right, let's move on to your second last question for Deanna Troy, which was, what was the name of the planet that Troy lived on with Riker and her children? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John Nepenthe. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know the meaning of that title? I'd love um, to. It... <laughs> oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Since I'm losing, I might as well add something to this show. <laughs> <laughs> Penthe was actually the drug that was given to Helen of Troy so that she would forget that she had been stolen from her country. And so it was a, a drug that made you forget your sorrows. Hence, Nepenthe. There you go. There you go. Right. Go ahead. That's from being at Girls Latin School Classic History. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's an educational episode of the quiz, everyone. All right. Final question for Tiana Troy when we're all going to breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, my God. Captain Jellico demanded that Troy... Do what? Sabrina. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Change, it. Change it to a regulation uniform. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Or put some clothes on, which <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. That's a, a point for Sabrina. And that brings us to the end of the Deanna Troy round. Phew. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Breathe out. We're I'm just good, glad you good. didn't. I thought you, there was going to be like a lot of questions about Marina Sirtis, and that was where I was like, I do not oh, know. Yeah. <laughs> other... We don't know anything about her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> other than one time a random fan apparently licked her hand on a bus, and what? she told the story at a convention and said that oh. her lesson for fans was don't lick people. <laughs> so <laughs> there's my a... one thing I can tell you. That's a good lesson to know in life. Yeah. But that she's was pretty good. We got a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, that was good. She's, she's going to have that as a sign next to her Star Trek Las Vegas like autograph stand. It's like, yeah. you know, autographs, $80, don't lick me. Um. <laughs> I think that should everything. be on all the stands. <laughs> <laughs> And especially in the age of COVID. Wow. <laughs> no, no, no licking. <laughs> that is nasty. All right. So, Fai, now... For for two people who thought they weren't going to do pretty well, I think, as Sabrina just rightly pointed out, we actually got a lot of those questions answered. But where do we sit in terms of score totals? So the round total, we have three for Sabrina and six for Jer Jera. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 and then we have... 
set as the subtotal, we have seven for Sabrina and eleven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Sabrina. Those kid names. Those kid names, man. Oh, that was I bought that, man. That was. I'm something. always the underdog. Come on, you gotta pull it. The, pull it up. That's okay. You know. I'm you just can do it. Fun. <laughs> I I'm reminded of when Sophia was on going up against her husband Sam, and I had I had my partner Anthony here keeping score as another non tricky and. I think that's Sophia that, got to my favorite overall. I know. I think Sophia got to round three before she actually answered a question. <laughs> and when she when she did, Anthony like screamed so loud he woke up the dog. And, yeah. Is it, is it Kirk? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I woke up the dog. <laughs> like. Birds in the tree outside flew out. Oh, like, she's <laughs> only seen 50 of 800 Gosh. and something episodes. What do you want from the woman? <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly, I know. She's not even a franchise. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're doing well. It's still a relatively close game, so it could still be anyone's. We, we've, we've, we've had much larger gaps in scores. So. <laughs> So we're gonna move into work on my button. That's what I got. I'm, I'm it, not it's still the it's still the button. It's, I, I'm not gonna make sure I unlock the buzzer. <laughs> so we're gonna move into the final round before we go into warp speed. So oh. our final queen of Trek is the fabulous Michael Burnham. <laughs> As portrayed by Sonequa Martin Green. So another nine questions all about Michael. So question one, hands on buzzers. What is Michael's primary scientific speciality? Sabrina. Exobiology. Hmm. That's not what I have. Negative. Uh oh. No, no, no. Jara, would you like to go? I mean, I definitely feel like she should get a half point for that, but it's <laughs> xenobiology. Isn't a it? half point? Yeah, she's a xeno um, anthropologist. It's like xeno and xeno okay, well, anthropologist. Okay, are they the same? The are they two different things? Okay, okay <laughs> but if it was Completely xenobiology versus exobiology, I feel like that should be a half a point. But I guess, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, neither of us got it. <laughs> Uh, Sophia, what do you reckon? Is is this is this a, a half point each kind of situation or a point each kind of situation? A half point? Because, like, when okay. you're looking at it, it's like, uh, I see half of it, like... Ology. You both said ology. Ology. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at it, too, and I was like, I got a half point that? for ology. <laughs> we, we can go, we can go 0. 0.5 for each there, Sophia. We can... <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> well done well done all right second question burnham also studied quantum physics and graduated at top of her class from where sabrina mm -hmm. the vulcan science academy that is correct well done it was indeed the vulcan science academy that place <laughs> what was dope haircut though <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Question three. What was the Vulcan hello? Sabrina. Shoot first and ask questions later. Blow them out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. I, I, I wrote here firing first on the Klingons, but that's pretty much exactly what you said. Pew, you? pew, <laughs> pew. <laughs> All right, good start to the round for Sabrina. Next question. Burnham was always the lead character of Discovery. What made her different from other previous show leads? Dara? She didn't start as the captain. That is correct. That's correct. Uh, I'm a co what? <laughs> <laughs> Contesting. <laughs> <laughs> you have a different view? Yeah, Cisco didn't start as the captain either. Oh, well, that's true. Ooh. Boom. Challenge. Very true, very true. But but he was in command. 
Yes, but he wasn't the captain, so that is no. that is true. <laughs> Jarrah still gets the point. <laughs> <laughs> But it's it, it's it's I I I accept that 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 is true confused. that isn't it. All right. What did Jojo leave Burnham in her will? Oh, Sarah, uh, her telescope. Oh. That is correct. Yes, which she gave to Saru as she felt she did not deserve it. Oh. All right. Now the. Sonequa Martin Green and her co stars ensured Discovery's first three episodes passed which test? Sabrina. The Bechdel test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when Jarrah mentioned the Bechdel test at the start, I was like, oh, that's an answer to a question. <laughs> and oh, we, many more. We did, we did the black version of the Bechdel test on this show, too. So, <laughs> how did it do? Version. <laughs> we did it on the movies. We did the sci-fi sister yeah. Bechdel test on the movies. And they went on it because they got Worf and Uhura all the time. But mm. said, y'all uh-huh. are lying on too many, too few people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it, I, I, and one thing I didn't get a chance to look up was just how many episodes of Discovery have, have passed the, the Bechdel test in total, which I, I'm sure it's more than just the first three, but it was. Yeah, it's between 80 and 90%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, and which is probably leading in terms of a lot of TV shows, <laughs> even in the modern age. Yeah. All right. Next question. So question seven of nine, you've got two points up for grabs with this question seven of nine. What were the names of Michael's two biological parents? Kara? Oh, no, I buzzed and I don't know it at all. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to go with... <laughs> Uh, Frank and Pam Burnham. <laughs> Frank and I have Pam. no idea. Frank and Pam, you know, you know, Frank and Pam. <laughs> uh, Serena. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> oh, her father's name was Michael, wasn't it? It was. It was Mike. Yep, Mike mm-hmm. slash Michael. And you I, know yeah, her mother's I, name it was Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Burnham. Um. Mrs. Burnham. <laughs> That's Professor Burnham to you, Doctor Burnham. <laughs> okay, so you do get one point for for Mike. Uh, her mother's name was Gabrielle. Oh, Gabrielle yeah. Burnham. Oh, of course, we met yeah. her. <laughs> Multiple times, actually. Oh, I, I am not going back to my house with these answers. <laughs> what was the name of the planet Burnham was residing on when her parents were killed by the Klingons? Oh, I knew that was going to come up. <laughs> so you should know. <laughs> yeah, you I didn't have time to look it up. Yeah. Planet McPlanet Face. Planet McPlanet <laughs> Face. I wish that was what it was called, but Negative. I'm afraid not. Sabrina, would you like to have a go? It was called Vulcan X Colony. <laughs> <laughs> way out in the way, way out. <laughs> That's what it was called. <laughs> it was your laugh track. <laughs> I'm afraid no. Ooh, I hit the wrong button there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the name of the planet was Doctari Alpha. Doctari Alpha. Okay, final question for the Burnham round. In what season does Burnham get formally appointed as captain of Discovery? Brina? Third season. That is correct. Yeah, in the finale of the third season. Well done. Well done. That was ooh. All right. I Safai, I think I think we've equalized but leading into the warp speed round. How did they go? We've gotten close, so we're off by one point. But so the round total for Sabrina is five point five. And for Jara's (laughs) two And we got 2.5 for 
for draw. <laughs> and then the subtotal point for Sabrina is 12.5. And then we got 13.5 for Jara. So we're, we're getting it close. Mm. I'm going as fast as NX01 <laughs> on that round. <laughs> Who's gonna doing 5.5. You, you made up the gap, though. It's, it's not too often that we go into our final round so close. So Speed round, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get ready to go into warp. Now, the warp speed round is 20 rapid-fire questions that will come at you one after the other. Normal rules apply. You do have to buzz in to answer, but I will not allow much time for you to answer. If I don't get an answer very quickly, I will move on to the next question. Now, this will be a mishmash of questions on all three of our previous Queens of Trek. So, all about Uhura, Diana, and Michael Burnham with a little bit of the actors who played them thrown in there as well. Are we ready for the warp speed round? As ready as we'll ever be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's get ready for it. Let's fly, absolutely let's love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is, this is always the tricky one because I've got about 50 things to do really quickly and I have to remember to clear the buzzers. <laughs> Let's go, hands on buzzers. Question one. Who famously convinced Uhura or Nichelle Nichols not to quit Star Trek? Brina. Martin Luther King. That is correct. Well done. What's, what does Deanna do shots of with Zephyr and Cochran? Jara. Whiskey. Oh, tequila. <laughs> that is correct. We'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Well done. <laughs> I what Nick Nick pounce? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pounce on myself. What nickname did Burnham give to the captured tardigrade? Jara. Ripper. Ripper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which, well, you both got it. That is correct. <laughs> but Jara buzzed in, so she gets the she point. <laughs> well done. In which episode or film is the name Neota first ever used on screen? Jara. Um, Star Trek 2009. That is correct. Well done, that's correct. Good. On which ship did Troy serve on after the Enterprise E? Yeah. Titan. That is correct. Good work, good work. Sonequa Martin Green appeared as the character Sasha in which TV series? Sabrina. The Walking Dead. That is correct. Well done. Upon first seeing Uhura on screen, who famously said, there is a black woman on TV and she ain't no maid? Sabrina. Whoopi Goldberg. That is correct. Correct. I love hearing her tell that story. In the episode Future Imperfect, who was Troy an aide to? Unable to comply. Admiral Picard. Burnham served on which ship prior to Discovery? Sabrina. The, the Suzy. That is correct. I'll give it to you. The Shen the, the Shen the, the Shen <laughs> Uh, Nichelle, Nicole, Nichelle Nichols also starred in an episode of another TV series created by Gene Roddenberry. Yeah. The Lieutenant. That is correct. I, I think the episode never made it to air. Uh, Marina Sirtis also appeared in another Gene Roddenberry created show. What was it? Yeah. Andromeda? Negative. Oh, no. That's not no. even a Gene Roddenberry show, is it? It is, it is, but okay. not, not the right one. Sabrina, do you know it? No, I was going to say Andromeda too. I don't know. No. Negative. It, it was Earth Final Conflict. She appeared in that. Oh. All right, next question. Who was initially Burnham's roommate on Discovery? Oh. Yeah. Um, Tilly. That is correct. That is correct. Sylvia Tilly. What station aboard the Enterprise Bridge does Uhura have to take over during the episode The Naked Time? 
Karina? The helm. That is correct. That is indeed correct. When we first see Troy in Picard Season 3, she accuses Riker of sharing what with Picard? Vera? Um, uh, uh, old stories? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Sabrina, do you know it? Mm -hmm. No, I know the scene and I can't think of what she says to him. <laughs> Unable to comply. Whiskey and cigars, is it? Oh, right. <laughs> That's where the whiskey was coming in. And, yeah. There you right. go. That was there it. You go. Next question. Burnham was sentenced to life in prison for what? Sabrina. She um, was for hitting her officer for mutiny. That is correct. <laughs> that was, I, was I was like, I, thought, a word. I was like, cheese and murder. Uh, uh. <laughs> I, know, I thought I was going to get a very long explanation yeah. of mutiny for a second. Just <laughs> conspiracy, uh, mutiny. Oh uh, dear. In, Star Trek things. <laughs> in Strange New Worlds, Cadet Uhura is seen as communications officer, but also does rotations in which two other departments? Yeah. Uh, security and engineering. That is correct. That's correct. Well done. Whilst Troy married Riker, she also had a brief fling with which other Enterprise crew member? Sabrina. Oh, Worf. <laughs> <laughs> I was not too sure what to read into the tone there, but... <laughs> <laughs> what relationship... Worf had everybody. Didn't he ever? Just greedy, really. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're getting near the end. What okay. relationship did Burnham have with Giorgio in the Mirror Universe? Sabrina. Mother daughter. That is correct. Yeah, adopted daughter. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll take that. Uh, and second last question Which visiting dignitary does Uhura offer her quarters to? Who? Jira. Uh, and now I'm not sure of this, so I'm going to go with, uh, Elan of Troyes. <laughs> it's definitely that not. Correct. Oh, okay. That is <laughs> it's really indeed. It's a lady, so it's going, <laughs> who is a visiting lady dignitary? Okay. Now for our final question. Now this is something that you both get a chance to do. So if you've, uh, our viewers and listeners know that we always end with a little bit of an impersonation. So I'm oh, about no. to I'm about to show you a fun little favorite clip of mine of Deanna Troy. We're going to watch the clip and then you're going to have a little bit of a turn at impersonating it and then Safai is going to tell us who does the best job. Oh, Diane. I understand you're an empath. <laughs> I'm a very sensitive man <laughs> myself. I'm doing a thesis on interspecies mating rituals. Would you care to join me in some empirical research? <laughs> I'll, I'll forgive you if you can't get this one word for word, but who would like to go first? <laughs> um, okay, I'll try. Uh, here we go. I forgot the scene already, okay? <laughs> Just let me compose myself. <laughs> Hello, Diane. Are you working on the, some empirical research <laughs> excuse me while i ask you questions about this thing i don't remember anything that i said <laughs> <laughs> and i also can't do an irish accent presumably <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well done, well done. Uh, there were bits of it in there. S Sabrina, give us your interpretation of that scene. All right. Hello, Diane. I understand you're an empath. Would you like to come with me and do a little empirical research? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for the wink. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking. Like, <laughs> Very nice. 
Well done. That was beautiful. Safai, <laughs> who, who gets the point? It's your choice. Gosh, well, I mean, I love both of what they do. It's a fact, it's a fact, it's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the wink. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so I would have to say that Gerard gets it because I like her performance and I like the <laughs> extra winks. <laughs> yeah, well really done good. well done we give a we give a bajoran clap for that here on the trick sports oh, quiz you. congratulations so that is a final point point for you now I feel great joy and gratitude <laughs> <laughs> All I needed to see, though, was if, if you could have put the arm up like that for the impersonation. Yeah, Hello, yeah. Diane. <laughs> <laughs> now that brings us to the end of a very, very Aww. fun quiz. Safai, who was our ultimate Trexpert today? Well, our ultimate Trexpert was... Yeah. <laughs> he was leading through the whole thing. It was so close. It was so was. close. That was fun. That was fun. I like the lightning round. Well, the speed round or whatever it was. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations. Do you have a, do you have a victory speech for us? Um, I'm gonna have to work on my try impressions, but really it was just such an honor to be here with you all uh, talking Star Trek and recognizing uh, all of the things I need to still memorize. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, really, like, you know, basic facts. <laughs> <laughs> it amazes you, right? You Sometimes you're like, I should know this. Why? And it's that rapid recall that kind of really gets put to the test. But you did so well. You did really, really well. That was a good game and a good competition. And uh, Sabrina, final words for your competitor. Oh, Jara is not a competitor. She is. She's a sister. <laughs> she's a sister. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> women at Warp, one of my favorite podcasts. It was that like women, women podcasters here today. I love it. So this has been fun. It has really been fun. Well I got it. It was so great to be on with you, Sabrina. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to do some more stuff with you. This is good. I i don't think I've laughed this much during your <laughs> recording. I'm always like, am I going to edit some of this out? I'm like, no, it's all too good. It'll all stay in. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. And and thank you so much for, for joining us today. It was an absolute pleasure to have you both on for, for the penultimate episode of my, of my first season. Now, before, before we wrap up... Um, Oh, well, let's do a quick round of, of where everyone can, can find you and your programs online. Now, Sophia, I think Sam normally does this part, but I know you've got it down I'll try pat. My best. <laughs> <laughs> where can our Sam listeners like, find ah. <laughs> Where can our listeners and viewers find your show? Um, so they can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or Instagram. Uh, pod of, sorry, Spotify and Apple Podcasts, we are Love of First Pod, and on Instagram, we are, wait, also Love of First Pod, yes, he's like standing right there. <laughs> I knew he was, I knew he was, he's like, tell them it's on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know the Instagram one. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I always, uh, so I've been a big fan of, of Love at First Contact. It's just, you two are just so adorable and cute to listen to. <laughs> Sam will just be like, no, it's obviously this. And you're like, I don't care. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, So it's, get along and listen to Love at First Contact if you have not had a chance to tune into it. It is just a delight of a show. Now, Sabrina, where can our listeners and viewers find you? You can find me on the uh, Sci-Fi Sister podcast, which is on the trekgeek.com forward slash Sci-Fi Sisters. And that's spelled S-Y-F-Y-S-I-S-T-A-S, Sci-Fi Sisters. You can also find us on Facebook as Sci-Fi Sisters. We're also on the Twitter, Sci-Fi Sisters, and Instagram, I believe, with Sci-Fi.Sisters. 
Awesome, awesome. A brilliant, brilliant show. So make sure you check out the Sci-Fi Sisters if you haven't yet. And of course, Jarrah, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find our podcast, Women at Warp, at Women at Warp on the various social medias. We are also at womenatwarp.com and on the places you would normally find your podcasts. And if you want to see all of the stats on the behind the scenes representations in Trek, as well as the Bechdel Wallace test results, you can check out my blog, trekkiefeminist.com. Amazing, amazing. We'll, we'll include some links to that in the show notes because that's really, really cool. And again, Women at Warp, I've I've just sort of started getting on board with it and I've recently become a patron and I know that you are doing oh. some amazing things uh, with, within your community and with your listeners, including watch alongs and, and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you, if you hadn't had a chance to have a listen yet, uh, get along and check out the Women at Warp. So thank you so much all for joining us today. And to my listeners and viewers, if you were screaming out the correct answers when one of our Trexperts today got it wrong and you think that you can do better, well, then why not put your latinum where your mouth is? We are, whilst season one is currently coming to a close of the Trexperts quiz, we are taking registrations for contestants in season two, which will begin recording in late June. You can do that by heading over to our website, trexpertsquiz.com and filling out the form on our site. You can also make sure to follow us over on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook or Facebook by searching for the Trexperts Quiz. And you can even email us directly, trexpertsquiz at gmail.com. We welcome all your feedback, quiz ideas, or just to say hello. Don't forget to check out the other amazing shows on the BQN network, such as All Good Things, Galaxy Class, History with the Zalagis, Infinite Diversity, Mickey's Marvels, Sasswatch, What's the Tea, Bev?, and my new show over on YouTube, The Bargain Bin Gamer, spelled G-A-Y-M-E-R. You can find any or all of these by searching for the BQN Master Feed wherever you get your podcasts from. So that is it for today. We will be back next week with our live-to-air broadcast of our Season 1 finale, which is going to be all about Picard Season 3. I've got four special guests. So I've got four contestants lined up who have been across Season 1. It's going to be really exciting. We'll be announcing who they are on the socials in the coming days. So please join us. That will be next Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. I hope I got that right. <laughs> On fr Sorry, that's next Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. I'm always getting it wrong. Uh, and it will be next Saturday here in Australia at 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Time. So until then, no matter what you do and no matter where you go, make sure you go boldly, live long and prosper, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>